because I'm getting ready to fire up Facebook to uh, connect with Eric, and I see this in my remember when timeline or whatever memories yeah. thing. Oh. What is this? Yep, that was my movie, Big Yawn, L- Little Dog. <laughs> Our little Dog, Big Yawn. Uh, All right, let's get uh, let's punch Eric executive up. Executive producer, Ken Burns. And oh, by the way, we got a cool phone call after the show today uh, while you're pulling that up. Buddy of mine, Shannon Rose. Shannon Rose uh, is, has been uh, heavily involved in uh, the local. He was heavily involved in the local wrestling scene for a long time. And uh, has now gone into mainstream. <laughs> pull, pull him up. Pull him up. Into mainstream um, public relations and that sort of thing. And so uh, we might be building a relationship there with Mr. Shannon Rose. That is awesome. Looking forward to it. Good morning, Eric. How are you? I mean, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Elf Doll. What's your name, Elfie? Elf on the shelf. Well, I, I know right. that. I thought all Elf on the shelves had their own uh, individual, unique name. Yeah, this one's named Jack. Jack. <laughs> I love how he breaks he was, character. He was in Hell's Angels for a while, and now he is uh, uh, become he, he has redeemed himself, and now he is part of uh, TNL Nutrition. But uh, is reaching out to young uh, bikers everywhere to encourage them to uh, get into the Christmas spirit, but all year round. Good, good, good. Uh, well, welcome to the show, Jack. How What's you, up? How you doing, man? I wanted to show you my shirt. Dude, I cannot lie. I love it. I saw that already. Is that a uh, uh, Mission Barbecue? I don't know if we're plugging or whatever. No, we're not plugging anything. It's actually a Holy Hog. Uh, uh, you know where I got the sheet or the shirt Holy from? Holy Hog. Holy Hog. Sorry. They have uh, three or four locations okay. here in the uh, Bay Area. But uh, welcome back to the show, man. Um, let's talk a little nutrition, a little health, and uh, let, but let's start. Let's start with that damn shelf, uh, the elf on a shelf. What What are you doing, man? Why? Why are you play? Why are Why are you as a father playing in allowing that in your house? I don't get it. I don't understand the. I feel like it's just such a blatant. Did you know if you touched him, he loses his magic? If yes. My daughter knew I was doing this right now. She would stab me. There was a drama in my uh, in my niece's house. I guess last week because that hat or no. They put him in a tree and then he fell or something. And then next thing you know, the girls are freaking out because you're not, he's not allowed to do, it's like a, the American flag. You got to treat him a certain way. Uh, but then yeah. I guess, I guess my, my sister-in-law made up some elaborate lie loophole and we're able to get around. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's, there's always a loophole because you know, my wife, uh, Said she put some juju that gave him his magic back because maybe he only had to be touched three times because she realized that my bro- my son touched him. and He realizes he's nine. He doesn't buy into it anymore. She still okay. loves the magic. So, you know, I figured we could bring that in because it's, you know, where uh, he's going to end up the next night. It's a lot of fun. So uh, right. I figured that was a good theme with, uh, with our nutrition because, you know, hey, where are we going to end up the next day? What's going on? Let's not worry about magic anymore and let's just uh, make it happen and we had a great little convo yesterday and got this kicked off so uh, where do you want to start all right well we'll start there um because over the next week uh one of the things that i I like eric wasn't like okay well here's your diet starting today start boiling chicken you know i want you eating six breasts of chicken and uh five cups of rice and then you know it wasn't any of that he goes here's he walked me through the app which was uh my fitness pal right as a matter yes. of fact, yes, sir. I, I can pull that up while we're talking to him. I would yeah, imagine. Yeah, I mean, you could. Yeah. Um, so we can go back and forth between him and just do side by side on the window. Okay. Or you can extend your desktop, whichever. What's that? I, I can't even. You get want me it. to give him the good news about Christmas cookies? We'll do that in a minute. What's the good news about Christmas cookies? <laughs> you can eat them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can't figure it out. It was to minimum. Oh, there we go. This thing here. No, I just did the full screen. Oh, I no. still see. No, no, no. We'll just do this for right now. Um, so anyway, he walked me through uh, my fitness pal yesterday, and uh, you know, uh, walked me through it. And he said, "Listen, this is what I want you to do. I want you to just get in the habit over the next week of just logging everything that you eat. 
I don't care what it is. Uh, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to be on you about what it is. I just need you to get in the habit because this is going to be key to your success, and I'm assuming to the success of all your clients. Absolutely, and that's you know really what we initiate. And uh, as I told you yesterday, that first week is uh, just getting in the habit of logging what you eat. It's not, you know, you have all these goals and expectations, and uh, you know it, it's important to to us that you see the consistency of your logging, what you drink and what you eat all day long, and then we can evaluate. So it's baby steps because this isn't a process that we want you to go through that we're on this six-week challenge and how much can you lose in two weeks or 30 days. This is a lifestyle we're trying to build for you, and this is something that we want you to be able to carry these habits for a lifetime. So once you lose the weight you want to lose, you can keep it off, and this goes for anybody and any lifestyle, any job, any schedule. We all eat and drink. It's just a matter of knowing what we're putting in. And this is going to be an eye opener for me, I think, one week from today. Uh, because I'm loading in all, yeah, all, all the crap. <laughs> like yesterday, we're, yeah. we're, yesterday morning, because I had log, lo, you know, logged it in. And so do you do this with all your clients? Uh, you get their password information as well as part of the deal? Or are you just doing that with me so you can uh, keep an eye on me? No, this is uh, how we do it with every okay. one of our clients because it, uh, you know, the, that's what's exciting about that app. And, you know, the digital age and technology is now we can keep an eye on you without asking you a question because that used to be me, you know, 10 years ago or even if, you know, we're, we're going to go 10, 15 years back talking with you. Like, how'd you eat? And you would tell, oh, look at that, Stanley. Um, <laughs> the, uh, you know, it's really important that we see that there's a you know a, a great opportunity here with this digital age because now a coach like myself can look at how you've eaten over the last 24, 48 hours in a matter of two minutes without you know calling you on the phone or getting an email. And, well, you know, my baby mama said that it was time for lunch and then I had to go out and get dinner. There's no excuses. There's no worries. You just put it in. We see it and then we can evaluate and then all we want to do is slowly dial in what needs to be done right for you. So yesterday when he and I talked in the afternoon, I'd had a bowl, of, big bowl of cereal in the morning <laughs> and two sandwiches, right? A ham and cheese sandwich and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich was the extent of my uh, meals that was it. when you and I talked. And you were like, okay, well, you're way low in protein, so make sure you have some protein tonight, which I did. Chicken wings, all almost all protein. I like that. Were they naked? They were naked. Skinless? They were naked. I had some of that last night. Thanks. They were That was skinless. my dinner. That was my dinner too. That's okay. Was, You're, you uh, were low on fat. That was good. All right. So I, I did the uh, <laughs> the unbreaded uh, chicken wings from Publix. Mm, that was it. Delicious. No sides. <laughs> nothing. Just chicken wings. Uh, uh, Capote says. Yeah, that says, Mardi uh, Gras seasoning that they have. Uh, the Mardi Gras wings are legit. At Publix. You don't have Publix anymore in New York. I'm sorry, we're cutting out a little oh, bit. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. David Capote says, the force of the McGriddle is strong, yo. So, uh, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I 440 do have to... calories, I think that one is. I haven't loaded it in yet this morning, uh, but what had happened was uh -oh. is I got up and I had a bowl. Well, you loaded it in. You just didn't load it in, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, what had happened was, is, you know, I got up early, it's 4.30 and about 4.40, I ate my, you know, bowl of cereal, some Honey Nut Cheerios. And I was thinking, all right, well, I got to make sure that I make another sandwich before I go. There's an apple over there. Make sure I grab that before I go. Uh, but I didn't. I ran out the door. And then by the time I'd gotten on the road, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm starving. Because now it's been an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes since I ate. And, and I just didn't want to come in here hungry. And, you know, whatever. I just, I need some no. energy. So I dipped into McDonald's. You're not good hangry on the mic. No, I'm not good hangry. Uh, so I, I dipped into McDonald's and I, I got the McGriddle meal. But, but, but I didn't so get So what the, comes with that? We got a McGriddle? McGriddle, hash brown, and a Diet Coke cola. What kind of McGriddle? Like uh, the sausage, egg, and cheese. Got it. Um, Dude, I'll tell you what. I love it. It's that, that uh, awesome add to all of these... Uh, nutrition goals is yeah i'll have seven big macs four large fry and a small diet coke <laughs> <laughs> i love it like that's gonna help it's and not it, about you know, i it, like diet coke i love diet coke i'm addicted uh, to diet coke it has nothing to do with me oh, going yeah. oh i'll have a giant doesn't matter okay that's okay if you like it. <laughs> it's not because i think that i'm countering whatever it is that i'm doing now i do take okay. issue with the fact that you like diet coke 
I understand. Uh, the other, I was, I, I'm with you, but I did Atkins in the late nineties and after like four or five months coming off of Atkins, I could not drink regular soda. It felt like I was pouring, pouring like just sir, cane sugar or syrup, or whatever, right down my gullet. And I, it was disgusting to me and I'll, uh, somehow I, 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 that's high opinion. fructose corn syrup. Get that's it right. It. That's it. That's what I was talking about. Yes. Uh, but, it it, but, but what I didn't do. Is I didn't add the one thing of salt to the hash brown this time, so at least I didn't coat it. Oh, with, I'm proud of you. Coat it, so it's baby steps, <laughs> baby steps. We're getting there. So let's pull that up. So as we talked about in that My Fitness Pal, if we have a McGriddle, 420 hash browns, 150 Diet Coke, zero. You know that's good. Can I'm I tell go you how lateral. hilarious it is that the McGriddle is 420? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Only. Yeah, 420 so, calories you know, in just that, that one little sandwich. Uh, you know, you could take a peek there, but you could probably pull it up. But you got 60 grams of carbs, 31 grams of fat, Jeez. and 12 grams of protein. So we can kind of uh, dive in because we looked at what your, your actual needs are daily, and that's going to be close to half of your fat intake for the day. It's obviously 60 carbs of the 220 you're allowed, so you're fine there, and only 12 grams of protein. So I wouldn't go, fish, this is an epic fail. I'm going to say you need to have a higher protein meal next, or maybe your snack is a protein bar or shake or something. We talked about that, maybe having a shake in the morning on your way out, and that's something we can talk about prep time because literally if you have – a scoop and a shaker sitting on your counter and all you got to do is put a little water in the morning, shake it up and drink it on the way and maybe have a banana or something with it, then you're off and running with a better, uh, you know, better habit, much cheaper. You don't even have to wait in line for it. It's already there. Um, but you know, going back to, uh, you know, what our, our starting point was, how do we look on our, uh, our measurements and weight this morning? Well, you've uh, led into the next uh, part of the show. <laughs> well, <laughs> while uh, we watch on Fisher. Oh, nice. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah, yeah, sexy baby. right there. Yeah. So, so we're Mickey Mouse in this thing <laughs> because I forgot to get that uh, measurement yesterday. So we're going to use an HDMI cable. <laughs> we're going to use okay. an HDMI cable. Oh, my God. Let's see. We'll come around. And you what's, what's even more hilarious is that regardless of camera angle, it looks like you're not wearing anything at all. <laughs> well, you know, uh, we were talking about that viral moment for the show. Cord says he's blind. <laughs> Is it even worth me trying to, do, trying to do it like this, or should I just get a tape measure on the way home? A, a real cloth? Yeah, I get a tape measure on the way home. I mean, as much as we all want to see your areolas. <laughs> and, uh, and he said measure around, around, tats. Woo! Measure hey around now. the belly button, too. And then you said, gotta, so, so gotta I measure get, out, do I measure around the belly button as I'm sucking it in, or do I got to let it hang out? Let it hang out. But you don't push it out. You just let it do what it does. So that way it oh, it helps, uh, you know, helps that, uh, you know, that understanding that we're looking for consistency on your measurements each week, not. Is somebody trying to get you to play? How, how, how much we can vary it. Is uh is somebody trying to get you to play? Dad, you're up. Play play know, fetch dude, with me. He's killing me. Shut up. <laughs> get out of here. What kind of dog you have? A golden doodle. Oh, he's oh, vicious. Come here, Max. Nice. You want to get online? Come here. Yeah, you got to do the. Uh, you got to do the Whoa. puppy shot. He just fell behind the couch. Yeah, right. we got to. Now here. that people have gone half blind, seeing my he shirt come off. He thinks he's a cat right now. Got to make up for it now. He thinks he's a cat. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> He's either part mountain goat or part feline. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Shut up. What are you barking at? He hasn't barked all day, and I'm like, oh, I'll be okay doing this. Strictly because he office, hears our voices. He's going berserk. I bet you he hears us. I mean, you're Come wearing on. headphones, but despite that, I'm pretty no, sure No, because I got him in my us. headphones. Yeah, but I think he can still hear can it. I mean, these are dogs doing. we're talking about. Come here. I think uh, when we get you on next week, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, you know meal prep and stuff like that because I have a feeling that is going to be key to my success as well. Yeah. Logging in this stuff so I can see exactly yep. what I'm shoving down my uh, fat gullet, and at the same time, um, you know, uh, you know, doing that. I think that's going to going to help you know my success anyway. And I I promise that I'll I'll uh, measure myself tomorrow morning. Yeah, no okay. HDMI cable. So it's Michaels or <laughs> Joanne Fabrics. Yeah, that doesn't work either. I like that. It's going to be a little bit more than that. But, you know, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so uh, before we get you off uh, the phone, uh, what do I need to be thinking about and focused on over the next week? Just log everything you eat. I'll be keeping an eye on it. I'll be shooting you texts, like I said last night. Uh, we're going to reach out to you, you know, a minimum three times a week because what I like to do is just not only keep that communication line open so you feel comfortable texting or calling if you have uh, a question about something, but really getting you uh, in the habit of just logging what you eat, what you drink. So how much water you're drinking. You know, I'm a big fan. I keep the old uh, 32 ounce with me because the larger the container, the easier it is to consume. If you keep a small 16 ounce bottle or small glass, you typically don't drink as much. So if you drink four or five of these bad boys a day, and I'd like you to do that first thing in the morning, pound one of those, what you got in your hand before you do anything, just okay. drink, you know, 20 to 32 ounces of water immediately. All right. So that's the first thing I do in the morning. I can, I can handle that. Cool. I think, uh, thank you, Eric. Uh, if you want to track down Eric uh, Stratman, you can do so at TNL coaching, uh, nutrition coaching on uh, Facebook, TNL nutrition coaching, on a Facebook, and we'll talk to you now. I'll talk to you in a couple days, and we'll uh, see you next week. Excellent. All right. All right. You guys have a good one. Take Thanks care. Thanks so much.